Hi guys, I'm Dan from Life is Art Visuals and today I'm on location and I'm about to set up this Ronin RS3. Okay, so before we even start with this, we start with this. So in the pack, you, there's loads of accessories and stuff. So one of them is this little base plate. So the first thing to do is pop this onto the bottom of your camera. Next, this is where the little tricks and tips come in because I've been caught out so many times. Lens cap, make sure that is off. Next thing is making sure you've got your memory card in and your battery in because all these little things, they change the balance. So you can set it up, spend a lot of time tweaking and getting it right, but then you haven't got a battery in. So when you put the battery in, everything's off balance. So they are very important to do first. It comes locked, so we have to unlock each point here to make it free flowing. So you've got one on the side, you've got one on the top here, and you've got one on the pan at the bottom. If your camera has a flip screen, it's really handy to get this out in position that you'd want it on the road. And again, because if you have it closed and you balance it, as soon as you open that out, you're off balance. So set this before you put it onto the Ronin. Another thing, if you've got a zoom lens, what we tend to do is set to the max, so you've got the full length of the lens. So when you're balancing, you're balancing to that, the biggest part of the lens, essentially. Pop the camera onto the plate. So the first thing I do is on the bottom pan is I bring the cam forward a little bit. So again, when you get to use this equipment day in, day out, you kind of get to know what your settings are. So I know that this sort of sits at around about two. So the idea is that you want to get your camera sort of in line with the handle. Again, it helps with all the balance. So what you do is you set your thing and you lock that in place. So now you've got your pan set, let's move up. So obviously, as you can see here now, we're off to the side. So the next point I do is sort of manually bring the camera up to where you want it. And then I'll adjust this back top arm here to counter the weight. So I'd lock that in. At the moment, we're flopping forward, which is no good. So next one is this, box, this side one, essentially. So I keep the camera facing it this way and I micro adjust and bring it up to the point where then that camera balances facing up. See, now we're facing up, but we've tilted over a little bit. So there's a little bit of sort of play around where you have to sort of, you find the balance point on one and then you sort of have to adjust the other one. So I'd go back to the base plate and I'll just slightly move again, micro adjust, so a little too much. So it is sensitive, but again, once you get your balance, you're laughing. So, okay, still a bit top heavy. I'll go back to this one, just up. And I sort of bring this one further up. Maybe that's a bit too far. See that, now we've gone over. So it's all about those little micro adjustments just to get the balance right. This is where I'd come down to this wheel here. This is a great feature on this one. So I'd unlock the bottom base plate and now I use this wheel, just micro adjust forward. See, too far. So bring it back a little bit. And now we're looking good. So I'd lock that. And now we're looking like we are balanced. You see? So now you've got it all balanced. Next thing to do is turn it on. So the on button is on the side here. As you turn it on, you'll hear a ping. There it is. And then you're on. It's told me here that I've balanced it great because it's all green. So what you'll see on the screen is if you are off balance, so if I just move it like this, you'll see an, a red mark come up. So it says it's out of balance. The next cool feature is the DGI app. It's really quick. A connect button comes down here. You press this and then you connect to the app. So with this one, what I always do every time I set it up is the motor parameters and I auto tune. So that way, obviously, depending on different lenses you're using, obviously it takes different strains on the motors. So it's always important to auto tune before you use it every time you change the lens. There is one really cool feature with this RS3 I need to show you. So you turn it off and it automatically locks in place. This is so cool. I can't tell you how useful this is to us on set because when you run and gun, you're going about your business, you can sling it on your shoulder, get to your next place, you turn it on, it takes a second, ping, turns back, you're ready to shoot again. This is so cool. And obviously, you know, if you've used the, the Ronin S in the past, you know that you don't have that feature. So, you know, you're running around, camera's wobbling, this is a great feature that also saves battery, so it's, it's a double win. So there we have it. That's how I set up the RS3. I hope that's been useful to you guys. Um, this kit is awesome and I highly recommend it. Obviously, if you used the uh, Ronin S before, you know it's a great bit of kit. It's weighty. This RS3 is 
light as a feather and it's great for run and gun and it sort of saves you on the back, do you know what I mean? So yeah, this is awesome bit of kit, I highly recommend. Again, I hope you found that useful. Any comments, any questions, just get in touch and I'll uh, be happy to answer them. So talking of which, uh, better get back on set. Have a great day. Thank you.